Hello, I'm Richard Jack Smith of Real Talk Movie Reviews and I am very excited to be bringing you the news that composer Liam Bates has brought out a new soundtrack, Let the Wrong One In. I have enjoyed Bates' work ever since I heard Last Passenger, which was previously released by Movie School Media. He is a fantastic composer and for my money, Last Passenger is the best music for a runaway train thriller of all time. Forget Cassandra Crossing by Jerry Goldsmith. For, definitely forget Runaway Train by Trevor Jones. Last Passenger, top notch. So I've been waiting oh, quite a while for Bates to come up with another film score. I know he's been busy with other projects, but when I saw his name attached to this and as an upcoming project, I thought, oh yes, prayers answered. Because there's nothing worse than a promising composer, well, just getting left by the wayside and trust me he has the talent this is a dark beautiful gothic virtuosic soundtrack one of my favorites in 2022 linda o'connor's solo violin is fantastic the use of the symbolum great i remember reading about the symbolum in doug adams music of the lord of the, lord of the rings and uh, amazing stuff. Let the Wrong One In has that kind of dan dan da opening which put me in mind of something like Alex North's Dragon Slayer da dan dan da has that kind of immediately announcing that something amazing is about to happen and for 15 tracks across 33 minutes we have an awesome experience with contrast, it's not all dark, there are some lighter moments, that the family motif, very effective here. I absolutely love this soundtrack and immediately started listening to it again just to pick up on the nuances and details that, because one listen will just not be enough here. I'd like to comment just briefly if I can on Last Passenger because that was my first exposure to the music of Liam Bates. I loved his tracks for that train surfing and leap of faith. Those confirming to me that those are the best tracks for a runaway train thriller. But also Sarah's Reflections, which had that poignant existential tingle to it, which brought us in and made this intimate drama of people in extraordinary circumstances such a emotionally resonant experience and I think he brings some of that to let the wrong one in too. It's a different score, it's certainly I think a broader canvas for Liam Bates and he definitely makes the most of every single moment. Like I say I'm already listening to this again on Spotify, it's an amazing album and movie score media who are pretty spot on when it comes to modern releases and they are doing some archival work as well and they are to be commended no end for their work in bringing new composers and maybe forgotten composers back to the fore. Let the Wrong One In is a highlight of the movie going year and the music just definitely brings out all the qualities that you would want in a soundtrack catchy themes, an atmosphere you can literally just trudge through with your boots. It's got fantastic pacing, the tonal colours are absolutely on point, pacing is stellar. It's just a fantastic album. And like I say, I just, I am so pleased that Bates is continuing as a film composer because his talent is pew, right up there. And I absolutely love this album. Can't recommend it enough. And I think if you listen to Last Passenger and then let the wrong one in, you're going to see that he's definitely someone who needs a lot more projects in the future. I give Let the Wrong One In five out of five stars, alongside Chris Egan's Fireheart. This is one of my favourites of 2022. Yes, I guess technically it was released in 2021 but there are a lot of film festivals that it was shown at the majority of people will only get to see it when it comes out on DVD which is in 2022 and uh, just going to add a little more to this uh, review I do believe that Bates 
has the creativity, the innovation, the technique, the talent to go very, very far in the industry. And I, like I say, I can't get enough of this soundtrack and I, I praise it to the heavens. I think it's fantastic. And I think you'll have a good time with it. For more film and soundtrack reviews, please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website, Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook, you can find my pages, Hypnotic Movie Reviews and Hypnotic Soundtrack Reviews. I am Richard Jack Smith. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.